Hey guys, what's going on? It's Richard and Trevor. We're what's back up, with episode two. Uh, this episode, we're mainly going to be co well, I said mainly, I don't know why. We'll be covering the Lost Legion mission. It's the second mission in the story. Leading up to, uh, leading up to where we finally will begin on the moon. <coughs> yep. You can see here that, uh, Jack is locked out of the defense systems on Helios. Um, one quick thing, our apologies guys for taking so long. We've had quite a few technical difficulties between this and the first episode, which our first one is coming up right here where we lost some footage, but um, other than that... Yeah, you, we really don't miss out on too terribly much, just uh, running through a couple hallways and meeting... Uh, I think it's Colonel is her official title, but um, Colonel's Arpidon yeah, or whatever. Yeah, it's... Oh, I can't remember. It's terrible. I, I think it's Colonel. That's what I'm calling her. <laughs> well, she's the Colonel now. I generally refer to her as that bitch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, who, who's this? I think we all know. Uh, kill that guy, I guess. <laughs> kill that guy, dude. So we all know it's a guy. Flame Knuckle. Uh, fighting Flame Knuckle is pretty, pretty intense. I'm just kidding. Nah, it's really fucking easy. Yeah, Flame Knuckle is kind of a joke. Yeah, he starts off at half health. Well, his rock, his, I'm sorry, his suit. His power suit starts off at half health. Uh, interesting fact about Flame Knuckle. We don't have footage of it, uh, as I did it randomly one day while I was playing. Uh, Flame Knuckle does drop the new I don't know if he drops it on a normal mode or not. I got a sure ball about that. But he does drop the new and the broken things on his back. That's his crit spots, as you can see where I was shooting at. Uh, when he comes out of the suit, his crit spots are, of course, you know, his face. Like every other enemy. Right. And, of course, like every other time, I can't do anything. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing too so special. Trevor oh. leveled up there and now at level 3. As if you remember, uh, Wilhelm's skill is unlocking Wolf and Saint. I've yet to try it, but uh, I've heard it's very powerful. I know a little bit about it, but we'll find out more here in just a moment whenever I get time to open up my menu. Yeah, basically Wolf goes out and attacks things, Saint comes and heals you. Like a repair surveyor from Borderlands 2. Yeah, thank god there are... Yeah, well, I think they're in this game. I'm not sure, honestly. I just remember doing Digistrike Peak runs and having the worst time shooting those things down with uh, a Gunzerker <laughs> using a Torque weapon. <laughs> yeah, that guy really likes fire. I see Jack's almost dead. Terrible time. Let's go. Um. I don't know. Over the course of this yeah. video, uh, I'm actually going to be surprised at how Trevor is. Uh, explosive and stuff. I just kind of want to talk to you guys about like uh, the different types of weapons we like to use and whatnot. And uh, I think Trevor and I are going to agree here that this will be definitely our favorite. The most OP guns in the game, hands down. Hands down. I don't understand why a pistol does more damage, fires faster, and uh, all around it's just more effective than assault rifles and SMGs. And I love it, but I hate it at the same time because they're so powerful, which is awesome. But that's what I always go back to, is using a pistol. I can't escape the pistols for some reason. And I use them on Borderlands 2, and here I am using them again on, uh, you know, the pre-sequel. Well, hopefully, whenever no later on in Wilhelm, I will be, but on uh, Nisha, for example. Nisha is extremely right, powerful with the pistols. It's ridiculous. Well, I still use a pistol quite a bit with Athena. Of course, uh, I'm mainly using a melee build on Athena right now. I haven't, I haven't maxed her out. But she does have skills where I really enjoy using lasers. Hold on, I'm gonna spin the cylinder. I love lasers on this gun. I mean, like, I, I, I'll take that back. I don't like the rail guns or the uh, the blasters, really. I, I, I've only used a blaster once, so I guess I can't really say that yet. But uh, the splitters are sick. Little laser shotguns. Remember back in uh, Borderlands 2 uh, when there was the blaster? The blaster. Uh, I remember that. It was like, 
Just bash him out of there. Bandit, my man. Yeah. Oh, these loaders bomb me out. No wonder Dalton took us over so easily. Need more It was like a blaster, but they had an extra ass in there. That's funny. Thank you, Jack. I am a badass. You actually, you can get one from that, uh, that mission you do for, uh, uh, the Zed. Oh, yeah. Where you unlock the, uh, Doc Mercy. You can get one from that mission. God, I miss the Infinity Pistols. Anyway, back on the pre-sequel, though. Um, here we are about to load into a moonshot shell, or whatever oh, yeah. you want to call it, to go to be launched to the moon. And when this guy pops out of this doorway that was right. closed, uh, you'll you see here in a sec uh, when Trevor's in his his console. Making uh, sure everything's working right. If you run over the here, manually. you can... I'd suggest the cloud There's a weapons but, uh, chest back here that I, loot. I always try to remember to loot. I, I didn't notice it until this playthrough, actually. I didn't get anything really good, just some more pistols, of course, but... Alright, new plan. Yeah, for the most part. I'll stay behind. I need you down on the moon. You gotta uh, find that jamming I mean, signal and shut it down. Chest. Otherwise, we'll never Pistol get control of the moon base and we can kiss that ball. Oh, unfortunately. Uh, something that I... We didn't mention in the first episode. That, uh, we probably should have. Besides, I'm a hero, uh, baby. Self sacrifice well, I'm pretty is part sure of the job. Talked, I don't know if we did or not. Oh, At any rate, I don't plan on trading anything for my characters and, uh, to my clap track. Torso. Better heal up before you down to the moon. Trevor and I talked about no, I don't think we did. I don't plan on it either, though. This is going to be a completely, you know, by itself run. I mean, the only thing that I'll be trading is something to you, <laughs> to your, from my Wilhelm to your clap trap or something like that. Gotcha, gotcha. No, this is really a great game though. We're still getting the hang of stuff here, you know, you have to bear with us for a little while. Um, like I say, we'll get everything figured out and all of our uh, technical difficulties solved, hopefully. But, uh, yeah, okay, so right now we're waiting for Jack to pull the Moonshot shell over so we can load up in it and launch. There's something coming up really soon that uh, I just told everybody here. Had the chance to appreciate, you know, you weren't almost out there. Or anything, but this cutscene, when you go to the moon, I love this cutscene. It's one of my favorite cutscenes ever. I don't know, it's just really action packed. So, you're telling me, Jack, handsome Jack, the guy who murdered my boyfriend, stayed behind while this was escaped. Behind while this was escaped. Like, <laughs> how long it takes to open this door? Whether his decision was heroic or purely strategic, I can't say. Well, it's mainly just because of the way Jack is. It just pisses me off that he had to be so Yeah. Like, we, we know what's gonna happen, Jack. Well, maybe, All right, we're ready maybe to we fire. don't. Whenever we do. you're ready, maybe I'll you see you in Concordia. It's the biggest town on Elpis. I know someone there who can help you find that jamming signal. Finally. And we can now walk through a door. Kind of, kind of but we're gonna launch. Who do we have here? That, that sounded Hello. really cheesy. I'm just trying Hello. to get the Hello, get pumped to here. <laughs> Anyone not a robot is about to die. Hello. You okay? Well, I can answer that. You're not okay. The second you open this door, all the oxygen is going to vent, and all the non-robots in there are going to suffocate. Uh, It'll hurt a lot, happens. and your eyes will pop like it, grapes it, when the pressure differential just, gets uh, too harsh. So, here's my plan. Uh, when you're ready, no open sense. the door and fire into my oxygen bubble. Sound train. good? Don't answer. Conserve your oxygen. You give robotics a bad day! Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to go press this little button over here. Oh.
Tang Springs. Black Marketeer, mm -hmm. Heart of Gold. Over here. Yeah, don't know much about her yet. I am now dying of oxygen deprivation. That's good. Just a heads up, whenever you're actually in the game, well, you're in the game now, but later on, when it actually matters, your health does dwindle a lot faster than this whenever you don't have air. Yeah, whenever you actually get in the ice kit. Unless, of course, you know, you're playing as Claptrap. Who doesn't need air? Uh, but the neat thing is, if you start to die of oxygen deprivation, whenever you get oxygen, you actually get all that health back instantly. So, uh, it's really not going to bother you too terribly much if you're just running to an oxygen. Yeah, I really like how they did Like, one of my biggest concerns with this game was the hell uh, oxygen would be a burden, you know, but the really, you know, I, I don't hardly ever catch myself running out of oxygen. So, uh, in all honesty, I, I think it's a neat addition to the game since I can double jump and play. Yeah. I was playing Borderlands 2 the other day, just playing around as Krieg, and I, I still try to double jump and ground pound on Borderlands 2, and it just it's, it's not the same. I like the cybernetic guy and beard. Oh, yeah, butt slam, whatever you want to call it. Trying to get back to Helios. There's a jamming signal around here we got to take care of first. A jamming signal? Haven't noticed anything like that. She, well, you might want to get to Little city run by a jamming signal. The Merif. Uh, took me forever to forget what the Merif meant. I've got some we'll get to that some at a later bar, point, though. I don't want to ruin that for you. Even if you ain't the breathing type, you'll be glad you've got an Oz kit. Head to these coordinates and clear the place out. Let me know if anything catches your eye. Oh, I keep you breathing, yes. I'm so out of it. Yep. Uh, just for you guys that don't know, uh, this game isn't like Borderlands 2 when it comes to farming legendary equipment. Mm -mm, you, uh, not at all. You really have to uh, farm vending machines. It's honestly one of the best ways to get legendary <coughs> equipment. Yeah. Flame Knuckle drops the nuke him, and there's a couple other bosses that we know what they drop, but uh, a lot uh, of legendary <coughs> come from vending machines. Another, another thing about this game is that um, there are a few bosses that you can only fight once. And I won't say who they are because I don't want to ruin anything. But it, uh, that is, a, I hope that they decide to change that in a later patch. Um, it is kind of a, it is kind of a big deal for me. Like I, I liked how in Borderlands 2 I could just go fight any boss I wanted to anytime, whether it was a. Uh, a full-sized boss or not you know just it, it but that was then it wasn't a deal breaker but it, it was a big deal I'm mean, you know yeah Yeah, you just gotta break these locks. To Which are a bitch to get to. We just sped up that fight there. It was really just, uh, Nothing too special, just kinda us getting wrecked. Or me, mainly, more than Richard. Uh, when you get in here, you just gotta fight some dragons. Pretty, pretty easy stuff. Uh, eventually kill, kill the dragons. Maybe we do, I don't know. It's a couple weapons. Oh, there's one weapons chest over there, some kind of loot chest, whatever you want to call it. But you definitely don't want to miss. I don't grab it, I don't think, until after we stop recording. But still, you don't want to miss it. I mean, yeah, it's just a jump across the lava. Uh, in this building here where you get the eyes hit. Yeah. Damn Kragan, or whatever they're called. Yeah, Kragans. Hard as shit. Uh, after you pick up the Oz kit and kill the Kragans, Janie will run down here, turn in the mission, and get your first Oz kit. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. As always. Please rate, comment, subscribe, tell us what we did good, tell us what we did bad, and, uh, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.